in due time. As it should be not far. All according to plan.
in due time. As it should be. All according to plan. In due time. In due time. Well, um, ah! 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 Me, Goron! Ready for anything.
That is not far. Our sister, our mistress, our queen, our sister, hail to our queen. Stop calling me that. In the darkest hours and the brightest days, you simply called me sister. I need no other title. Your songs and laughter accompanied me in my happiest moments. I would rather not shift them to honorifics. The time of my triumph is nigh, sisters. I want to share it with you as I have always shared my secrets, my sorrows, and my joys. Even after I become an eldest, I shall not abandon you. My realm will be the kingdom of spring, love, and life. And you will all be most welcome there. Be happy, sister. Be victorious, sister. Wow, we're inside her dream. Maybe we should try talking to her. She may not quite be the real Nyrissa, but that's kind of the point. In her dreams, she can let out the things she would never say in the real world. Be careful, Nyrissa. You have always been the bravest of us, and none deserve to be an eldest more than you. But these ambitions may come with a steep price. Perhaps I have always been the bravest, Devendra, but you have always been the grumpiest. We are blessed with eternal life, but we keep living out each day, abiding by rules we have no hand in creating. My plan is daring, you say. Well then, so be it. I simply pray we do not end up paying a price we cannot bear. What I did to them is paltry compared with what was done to me. But you cannot understand. No one can just go away. We will be victorious.
A trial awaits you, trespasser. I shall simply make sure you get there without getting lost along the way. me, scum! I will not bow my head! What? Get ready. Get yourself proclaimed queen. Do not fight off a mere animal of the kill. Listen to me, trespasser. You sought a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Haji. Guilty. Do. As you sought to steal a kingdom for yourself, so must you do again. A thousand times over. For a theft, a true theft, must be practiced to be earned. It will be a lengthy task. This is how it shall be measured. Oh. Make ruins of kingdoms. When each is dust, the grains shall gather in this vessel. When a thousand grains are gathered, bring it before us as an offering, so that an eldest may sit from it. Trespass shall be forgiven. Where will I find so many nations? It is... An impossible task? How? Oh, let your unrequited love guide you. I guided you to your first kingdom. So it shall again. Seek it. Hunt for it. Lust for it. Let the emptiness inside you become your deadliest weapon. It is not an impossible task. After all, what use is an apology that cannot ever be given? Or given. Curse. 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 Get ready. Get scared. Learn. Listen. Listen to me, trespasser. You sought a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Haji. All according to guilty. Do cursed. 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 Did I truly deserve all this? to judge me. For someone who cannot comprehend the burden of the curse, you assume far too much. Our victory is certain. <laughs> of those who've hidden the briar exceed our own in many ways. Why search for that which has ruined me? He said... He said, let your unrequited love guide you to the doomed kingdoms. No, I will not search any longer, but I must find it. Come now, start searching. It must be here in the Stolen Lands. My lady, there's nothing we can do. In due time. The powers of those who've hidden the briar exceed our own in many ways. Why search I told for them that to which stop. has ruined me? No, I told them to search. He said, 
It is pointless. Said, Why do I need this? Let your unrequited you love now? guide you. Do you see? They ripped my heart out and threw it into your world. And something else was torn out with it. Something that was stolen from me. Do you believe the aim of my curse was the destruction of your pathetic kingdoms? No, that was merely a path towards redemption. The curse, it deprived me of a part of my soul. The most important part. Ripped from me, crippled, mutilated, and turned into an artifact. The Briar. No, no, something deeper. Brighter, I suppose. I only know the sound of this word, but not its meaning. A burning word. A stupid word. Love. My Skylark, your song is sad today. What happened? Once young deer have barely grown their antlers, they face their fathers in fierce combat. Have you ever seen it? The time has come. You are a stag now, not some defenseless fawn. Go. Go and fight. So easily trapped. Stags and wolves, skylarks and peacocks. I was there with you from the very first steps you made into the Stolen Lands. 
I've created a nice cage of magical fog around you. Sent you my Skylark, helped you kill my stag, guided you through dreams and visions. And I pitted my wolf and my peacock against you. Does it not please you, my hound? I gave you so much prey to chase. But what I have done matters little when compared to why I have done it. I have already lost track of so much time. For so many centuries I sought out those like you. The ambitious and bold. Those who believe they can change the world, or at least rule it. I seek them, grant them power, lead them to triumph, and then push them into the abyss. another grain this one took a hundred years to obtain and that one was just a week the first bears the blood of this will never end never do you see this cup it has a name you know the apology Within it is the Stag Lord and his crazy dream to become a king and take me as his queen. And Armag and his never born barbarian empire. Who will fall in next? Pitax and its peacock king? Or you? What is this, a dream? Or is someone actually playing games with me? Speaking words that pierce like arrows, teasing me with the hope of salvation beyond my reach. I have had strange dreams recently. Times before the curse, and a meeting that never occurred. So, this is a dream. But you have entered it from reality. <gasps> Exquisite. Very reminiscent of the methods I typically use. For a thousand years, none have come so close to me. And I assure you, none ever will again. But you... I like you more and more, my hound. Perhaps I have no need of that stupid peacock anymore. I could let you tear him apart if you wish. I know where a tool lies that will let you clip his wings. The evidence of his crimes. Something he's been hiding from his Pataxian allies. But he could not hide it from me. Remember this name. White Rose Abbey. That is where Iravetti would usually meet with me in the past. And the place where you will find your tool against him. My brave, brave hound. You will get along nicely, I dare say. As it should be. That is not far. Would you look at that? No mistakes. Uh, enemy, enemy approaching.
see something. Anything else? Not waiting. Just letting me enter. We will be victorious. Follow my lead. I know what to do. Ha, he, waiting. Ha, he, waiting. Ha, he, waiting. Our victory is certain. Focus on the goal.
In due time. We will be able to inspiration. Do not hold up! Run them through!
That is not far. I tire. In due time. That is not far.
That is not. I need to concentrate. Becoming distracted leads to becoming dismembered. In due time, I am prepared. Focus on the goal. A calculated risk.
all according to plan. That is not far. Well, hello, King. I'm glad to see that despite your utter failure as a ruler, you did listen to the voice of reason and made the only right decision. Give me your crown and swear allegiance to me. I promise I shall rule your lands wisely and mercifully. Citizens of Free Pitax, our city is in danger. The enemy is at the gate. To arms for our freedom, for your king. According to plan, in due time. Well, here is the finale. Iravetti's greatness, Iravetti's triumph. 
Ear of Eddie's death. Three acts, just as they teach at the Academy. <laughs> Screw the Academy. I'm a bard myself, and not the worst one at that. I know better than most that glory and grandeur last no longer than bubbles in a glass of fizzy wine. You know I didn't really want to fight you. But the fates of rulers in these lands aren't written by you or I, but by a certain fairy we both know. It's for her that fools like us stage our performance age after age. We rise, win, and die at her pleasure. I tried to outwit her, but in the end, everything turned out just like the old crow wanted. Well, at least I tried. Tell me, king, ruler of the stolen lands, Varn hold, and now, if you get out of here alive, Patax as well. Tell me, your royal highness, when you are done with King Slaughter and wipe my blood from the floor, how are you going to rule my lands? Why do you care so much about that runt? <laughs> Certainly, I'll tell you. Why not? The assault on the mansion was his own idea. The only thing he had to do was infiltrate your group and use it to find a certain artifact in the Stolen Lands. You see, just like you, I am the plaything of a certain lady. She's been searching for that artifact for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. And who found it? You guessed it, our purple friend. All these centuries and that magic chunk of wood was hiding under the roots of the old sycamore. I guess the whole tree grew from it. You and I, we are alike. Her twin marionettes both dreaming of cutting the strings. I never told her I have the artifact. Instead, I've studied it, hoping to use it against her, and I can't say I've made a lot of progress. The only thing I've learned is that it can be used to throw people into love or madness. Well, if you win this battle, consider the magic stick a part of my legacy. I have answered your questions. Now it's your turn. Tell me. How are you going to rule my lands? How noble as long as they remember to pay taxes, right? All right, enough talk. Our lady demands an outcome. Let's give her a show. Our victory is to... Angelus, where are you? Come here quickly! I and the prior in my hand command you. Kill him! Well, I was sure I could defeat you. I didn't even compose any final words. Ah, well, you'll have to think of something for me. Hell no! 
I won't give you this pleasure. This farce ends here and now. To you, your highness. Now Pitax is your pain in the ass, and so is that slut fairy. Farewell. Iravetti was dead, and good riddance. Our ruler added the crown of Pitax to the crown of the Stolen Lands. But behind the dead monarch loomed the shadow of a much more dangerous foe. All according to plan. 